What's up? My name is Brandon Gross, and if you're new to the channel, I'm an adrenaline enthusiast that's been living full time on the road in this converted school bus for the past two and a half years. Usually, you can find me underground exploring some claustrophobic caves or jumping off of just about any and everything I can find. But welcome to my channel, where the main goal is a life worth living. If you missed last week's video, I tried to win an auction for an ambulance online and failed. Got my silver play button from YouTube for 100,000 subscribers. Found an active ambulance they were willing to sell. Bought it and did a full walk around tour. Then took out all of my frustrations, destroying the inside. I did a little bit more work to it and that leads us to where we are right now. Day two, set up a big time lapse. Here we go. We cut all of this out. We had to cut a bunch of different welds just to get that piece off because I, I am gonna put my bed across here. And right now I'm working on getting this big cabinet out. This might be the only one that'll come out without giving me a huge fight. This is the only one that I've seen that's screwed down from the top instead of up from the bottom inside of here where you can't get to them. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. When in doubt, cut it out. Yeah, this one's not gonna give me a problem. How? How is that holding this right now? Oh, I gotta take the bar off the ceiling first. Oh, come on. Yeah. Ambulances are just built like tanks. It's insane. So they build the cabinet, a separate box that's bolted over top of this aluminum box that's completely welded together. Now I gotta remove this next box and then I can cut this piece, the whole aluminum box and bring it down, I don't know, somewhere around here and then seal it all back up and then put my bed on top of it. Yo. All right, it's day three working on the ambulance. I lost all of the footage from this morning that I filmed because this is the second time this has happened where the GoPro caused an SD error. So I lost all of the footage and I can't get it back unless I pay money. And then even when I get it back, the footage isn't the same. It's like a little bit messed up. So anyways, day three, just started chopping this box. I'm gonna lower that, get that all finished. Got the emergency lights out off the back. I've been removing a bunch of wiring. I've been working in this big deadly closet of of electronics that just have panels on panels with panels literally behind other panels. Been tracing wires up through here and all down through here, underneath here and up into here. But that's what I'm working on right now. I have one more emergency light to remove. There we go. One more very expensive light bar to go on eBay. The guy who sold me the ambulance actually told me that these light bars are worth a lot of money. You can throw them on eBay, sell them for a good bit, and then that'll help, that'll help like, what's the word I want? Diminish some of the costs that I'm gonna have on this build. I'll just catch you on day four. Day three's been a lost cause with filming, but we'll see you tomorrow. Day four, been spending most of it just running around, getting the title squared away. I had to go to an inspection mechanic and all this dumb stuff. But just bought some insulation, all the spray in insulation, got some extra wire, and my first little bit of lumber to at least get me started. Ripped out the center console, and this is my mess of things. Giant cabinets and yeah. But we're getting there slowly but surely. Day five. I got some extra material from my sister's ambulance, so I'm cutting out some little plates that I'm using right up in there. You can see to block off where they have these giant floodlights that didn't really work super well. These ones right there, so I'm blocking those off with these plates. Then I'm gonna put some LED light bars on there. And then I'm gonna start cutting this thing down finally. And a couple other odds and ends. Yesterday was kind of a wash. I was running around picking up things. I just ordered a ton of parts for this. So I'm now prepping everything for all my parts that are coming in this week. Hello. Hi. What's up? What's doing? Cutting stuff. Here's the fat torn calf. Three days later. Alright, well that 
that was one of the worst cuts I've ever made in my life. You can see how much they don't match up right there. So, clamped them together. I'm gonna use this grinder and uh, try to make them look decent. Look at that, it is a beauty. So now I have access to this giant storage bin from the inside or the outside. This one, I still need to chop down. I keep talking about it, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, that whole thing's done. And I just started chopping this piece apart. Basically, I still gotta do like a little schwo schwo right there. Same thing on the other side, and I'm gonna fill that all back in. The ghost just shut my door. All right, so I've owned this thing for six days now. We're a little hungover today, not gonna lie, but we're still gonna work on it. I'm trying to do at least one thing to it every day, no matter how shitty I'm feeling. So working on finishing this little cabinet thing here. I just already started cutting this piece and don't know what I'm gonna do after that, but let's get started. Gonna start tearing apart the door so I can get to the speakers. Remove the whole dash panel so I can take the stereo out. I'm putting a nice touch screen in, but I'm getting all this prepped so when my speakers get delivered tomorrow, I can finish the whole cab area and be done and then just go to the back. All right, the two old shitty speakers are out. And I'm still fighting the dashboard right now, but it'll be out soon. It's getting there. Crappy radio is out and it is time for the new one when it gets delivered this week. One more job done. I am ending day six here. We got light bar installed. I'm actually putting two smaller light bars where those big floodlights are. I have the entire inside just ripped apart. Some wiring and some switches, putting in a new head unit and all that good stuff. Getting wires run to the back to connect to the rear electrical stuff. Things are coming along slowly but surely. Back here, I feel like it still doesn't look any different, but things are happening, I promise. All right, day seven. I'm going through all the wiring right now, wiring in the harness, so that way, get rid of this guy and put in a nice touchscreen one. And then I can put this all back together, so that's what I'm doing right now. Then I'm gonna finish a whole bunch of lights on the outside. Two more light bars and marker lights the whole way around and another brake light, so. That's what we got going on today. Since we took off the giant emergency lights that also had the clearance light, reverse light, and marker lights on it. So just put in some marker lights, super bright reverse lights to help me back up at nighttime, and a brake light and clearance light. So I'm gonna do a couple more there, a couple on the front, a couple on the front side, and two more light bars. Just removed this light, and just pulled this one out. Just gotta disconnect these wires, put a plate on here, and then put a, another light bar on. Today's going a lot slower than I had hoped it would. The head unit took me way, way too long because the fuse popped and it took me forever to track it down, but we're making progress. More marker lights. This is such a tedious process. I hate doing this stuff. I like doing the fun stuff. It's the end of day seven. It may not look like much, but got marker lights the entire way around the ambulance. Got the head unit installed today and then I got these two smaller light bars added on. Also around back, got some super bright reverse lights, more marker lights, added a brake light up there as well. Uh, that took pretty much the entire day. Tomorrow, day eight, get back at it. Okay, just kidding. We're gonna pick up on days eight through 16 starting next week on Wednesday as usual. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a slow process to see this thing 
turn into a livable home. It's a ton of work and I really appreciate you guys watching every week and supporting me. Cannot thank you guys enough. So I will see you next Wednesday for another eight through 16, eight, nine, 10, 11. nine days, nine more days of the conversion will be next Wednesday. The videos are already done and edited. The videos will just keep on coming until this thing is finished. And then I will be driving it back out to the West coast to meet up with everybody. Thank you guys. And I will see you next week. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Yeah.